Better at ranking, man. Better at ranking. What's going on? So, Your Honor, we got Your Honor in the building with us. Band Legacy 3. I heard it was a fire, fire, fire event. We got Your Honor, man. Bill Collector. That's a plate. That's a plate. Talk to us, man. How was your event, man? How was your time? Talk to me, man. What's up, bro? Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it, man. Everything was everything, man. I can't, I can't, I can't really, I can't, I can't, I don't know how to tell someone who's not a rapper or battler or any performer or any type of athlete or no, I can't tell anyone who don't perform in front of people on any level. I can't tell, I can't explain that. I can't explain the feeling. Mm. I can't. Mm. I, can, I, I, can, I really can't, bro. I can't explain how it feel to be up there and look out. And 200 plus 300 faces staring at you, waiting for their next move, you know what I mean? Waiting to be told what to do, you know? Like, right. I can't explain that shit. Like, if you're not an athlete or never play anything on any level where people came to see you, I cannot explain how it feels. So I'm going to try my best, but so all I can say is it felt phenomenal, bro. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. With the love, the love was out there? Like, was they showing you love before? Like, what day did you get out there? And how was your, like, the overall, like, did you watch any battles? Just give me an overall feel of the days that you was out there, if not all three. Uh, yeah, yeah, I came out on Saturday. I stepped out on Saturday. I got there around 4, four o'clock. It ain't even started yet by the time I got there. You know, and I thought I was late, but you know how this black shit go. We gotta <laughs> fix that too, uh, fans and rappers. We gotta definitely fix that's that. Fact, that's, professional. that's a hell of a turn yes, off. Be professional. Yeah, that don't make no sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. ain't no reason we can't get there and get this shit moving. You know, people wanna we want after parties and we wanna chill. You know, we wanna do stuff, but how we gonna do all that when the shit end at twelve? How the fuck we gonna go to the hotel full of bitches? You know, man, how we gonna really get shit popping if it's all like that? Then we gotta be here tomorrow at one. So if we can really get in that one, get this shit done by seven, eight, we can have a full rap party after that, bunch of interviews, bunch of hoes, bunch of weed, and really, you know what I mean, do the stardom shit and get, get some of the perks that come with this shit, that's you know what I'm saying, that, which is the bitches and shit. But we can't do none of that, we leave it out at 11.30, but that's a whole nother rant, my bad, to get back on time. Nah, you good, man. bro, you to good. Get, talk, talk, to, you but, right. But to get, but to get back on the shit, I mean, I, I came in on Saturday. Um, real smooth. I seen some battles that night that were fire. Shouts out to the dude. Uh, damn, what was the dude name, man? You you probably know these niggas, but it was two niggas, one light skin, one dark skin. One had dreads, that one had like silky hair and shit, like a Spanish guy. I think his name was Kid Kid Chaos. Okay. And the yep. other dude name yep. was K Murder or J Murder or Murder or, or Kruger Kruger. J Kruger. Oh, J Kruger and Kid yep. K. Okay, okay. His name Jay Kruger? Yep. That's his name. Absolutely. Uh -oh. that's his you, know, name. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. They both and, I, and it's funny because I can't. Yeah, because I can't. I was in and out smoking cigarettes and fucking with people. So when I came back in, I, I got their names just off the flips that they was doing. Like all the Jay flips. I was like, oh, his name Jay. Yep. And then the next round was Kruger flips. I was like, oh, his name Kruger. So then I was like, oh, his name must be Jay Kruger. Yep. And then yep. all the way around. That's got, right. So that's how I knew. The, but shout, shout out to both of them niggas. They put down, bro. Them niggas. Them niggas tore down, bro. Mm. I ain't going to hold you. Them niggas tore down. I was like, I was very impressed and excited. And that was Saturday, and mind you, I'm battling Sunday, so it's a little hard to watch other people because you want to go, you want to get up there, you know. And I wish I was like, I wish I could be next with this exact crowd that they got, right, like right. you know what I mean. The That's energy, how be the with energy. You. Fact. So yeah, it should get a little anxious. So they threw the fuck down. Uh, saw some other battles that night. Just vibe and chatting with the people. The fans was lovely, beautiful, man. Hey, can't wait for y'all tomorrow. That's all I heard. Yo, you you on tonight? Is it tonight? I'm like, nah, tomorrow. All right, I'm in, I'm in. You know, just real, it's that what seems to be genuine love, and I appreciate it, man. So I try to, um, one of the things I went through with, 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 with the fans on Saturday as opposed to Sunday is that, like, the fans, like, I try to get, you know, a little intimate with them, you know, I, like, because I'm not really a sociable guy. Like, I'm very sociable in real life, but I'm not really, you know, I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not really sociable with people who random people. I don't like dapping up random hands and shit like that. I don't, I don't like shit like that. I'd rather give them a fist or something. <laughs> but I found, you know, well, uh, over the course of my last battle up until this one, you know, I'll be talking with some good guys about good advice like Tay Rock and shit and 
Geechee, I was talking to Geechee, and even after the last one, Blue Easy pulled me aside and was chopping it up with me. So a lot of those guys were saying certain shit that they was like, yo, you know, don't be afraid to be be a fan, you know, don't be afraid to be, uh, what's the word? Not friendly, but I guess that is the word, friendly, you know what I'm saying? And and I was watching right the way Rock was adoring the fans, you know, he was really dapping them up. Yo, how you feeling? What's your name? Oh, all right, that's all right. All right, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming. Like, he was really giving them a lot more attention than I thought stars do. Like, I, I always anticipated, with, like, Will Smith or, or Denzel would just say hi or take a picture, but I never really saw a star operate like that, if that makes any sense. So mm-hmm. I learned how to... From them, I was learning how to be a little more embracive with the fans. Ain't nothing wrong with conversing with them. Ain't nothing wrong with actually talking to them, man. So I started to do that, and it felt good. It, it was cool. It, ain't, it still ain't my thing to do. Mm-hmm. I would rather be the cool nigga in the cut, just chilling in the VIP with some bitches or something. But it, it, I, I did it, and it felt okay. It really felt good. So I got to, you know, make sure that... But I still want that line to be drawn of... Of you know, I am that nigga, and you are fans. So please, you know, still, I'm, I'm the fans. artist, because, you're the fan. <laughs> see, but <laughs> right, right, I'm trying to keep that. But the reason I say that is not because you know I feel like I'm big headed or some type of star, <laughs> shit like that. But it's simply because after after I was doing those type of encounters that Rock was showing me and other people was t- telling me about when it comes to handling the fans and shit like that. After I was doing that, everybody was like. It, it became a little too far sometimes. Like, there was a couple guys who was, yo, know, want to take my number, bro, man. I be in D.C. all the time. I'm hit you up. And I'm thinking, I'm in my head like, no, bro, I would never hang out. Like, no. What do you, you know what I'm saying? But, of course, at the time, to keep up the appeal, I was like, oh, most definitely, most definitely. And I hope the niggas ain't listening because sorry about that, bro. But I was definitely faking you out. Sorry, man. I was definitely faking you out. I was definitely spinning you and cheesing you. I will never pull up on you. I don't know you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm I trying, feel my, my you. Just I feel you. I feel but you. I'm trying to. You, there's still a line I'm trying to keep between us. There's a fine yeah. line between us. I don't know you, bro. Yeah. Now, just because you a fan of me and see me, I don't know you, so I can't. Just like in the streets, so just like on a bus, I'm not just gonna be dapping up all the niggas on the bus. Hey, man. <laughs> How you doing today? Right. And shit. What the fuck? I'm not gonna do that. So what is, it's not really no different for me being here. Right. But you know, right. like I said, I was when they were showing me the shit. I'm trying to apply it correctly, but still keep that distance. I had guys real live, bro. Man, take my number, bro. What's your number? Oh, what's your Instagram? Wait, follow me. I'm, I'm him, him, him. And I'm, you know, I'm, and, and and I think that came from the fact that I was probably too open, like I did it a little too wrong, I, I'm probably supposed to, you know, I'm, but I'm going to learn it, I'm going to learn, right, I'm going right, to right, learn how to right. engage, and I'm going to learn how to engage and make the fans feel like I give a fuck about them, but also keep that line between, no, bro, we can't get personal, you can't have my number, it just ain't, you know what I mean, this ain't yeah. that, so, so, you know, this, so this time, numbers. hate to cut you off, but this time, did you try it out, was you short and sweet with them, like, how did you do it different this time than last time? <laughs> this time okay 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 okay, okay. everything I mean, yeah everything i was just saying was this time okay. that wasn't the last time that was all this time okay. from the last time of not doing nothing with them like oh appreciate it bro all right that's a bad a little tap on the chest or a little like wherever he had, i would i would just be you know it's hard to explain i have to show you what i would do mm-hmm. usually but then i was you know getting taught other things and how to do this and do that so that's what I applied to this time. So everything I just said was just happening oh, last night and Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. So, so they don't taste the friendly I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the okay. perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get the perfect ratio of still, you know, seeming like I care and really appreciative. It's not that I'm not, but I can't show my appreciation to every last one of y'all. It's 350, 400 people. I can, there's no way I can show y'all I'm happy that y'all here other than perform up there and, and give y'all what y'all looking for. That's the, that's, that's that's the I'm happy you here. The performance is I'm happy you here. The, you know what I'm saying? The pictures is I'm happy you here. But the numbers and the follow back and all the... You know, let's pull up. I'm, I'm always in the city. I pull up on all that. That's not no. That, that that's not part. Of, I don't like that part of it. So I might have been a little too friendly. So, but I'm gonna I'm find the perfect balance, though, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. That was Saturday. It was any other battles that you caught yes, on Saturday? Sir. Do you remember any other battles, or you just kind of caught? Um. Do you do you got the list?
list? Like, if you got the list, I could, you could run them down. No, I own. actually don't, but I can definitely find it right here in the lobby. Hold one second. That's right oh, here. I remember, I remember the dude, Kid and, and Kruger. Nice fire. Let's say one. Uh, who else was that night? Let's say two right there. Dang, I can't remember Saturday. Gotti Illum uh, um, Gotti. Did you see Gotti Illuminati? Gotti, Gotti and Lum is uh Gigi? No 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 Gotti Illuminati versus your boy Peanut. Did you see that battle? No, I didn't see what that. What about Stumbles? Right there, Stumbles that. versus um Racks. No, that was day two, this Saturday. Oh, uh Stumbles and Racks. I seen that one. Okay. I, oh, I think did he have an eye patch? One of the dudes had an eye patch. The eye patch, the eye patch. He won. He had a black pirate eye yep, patch. Yep, 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 that's right. Or was it a, his, uh, his real thing? He won. Okay. Definitely, whoever that dude was, he was fired. Okay, okay. All right. Now we're going but, uh, to... Oh, I saw oh, a bad news in Swamp. What? Swamp went down on Saturday. What? Man, <laughs> man she, she, got, she got Duffy, man. That shit, that shit. Bad, bro. <laughs> I mean, it was bad news for real. Like, uh, Swamp 30. Oh, like, uh, what? Nigga, he 30 them something crazy, bro. And it wasn't even. And I was a little. I got to see. In, you know, thinking, okay, Swamp shit was nice. You know, don't get it fucked up. But it's crazy because Swamp, my, my boy now. You know what I mean? You know how niggas battle. You know, uh -huh. that's my boy now. Uh -huh. Shit like that. You know how the shit go. Uh -huh. But before that, when I was prepping for him, I didn't think he was nice. Like, I really was like, that nigga, like, I really never thought he was nice. Even when he battled me, I be looking when I go watch it. I don't need, like, I don't think it's he that nice, to be honest. And then after we battled, of course, we became cool, and I was, and all the buzz around him and everything that, you know, he, he, all, all he, that he achieved thus far after our battle, you know, you start to forget. I, I kind of forgot that I didn't think he was nice to begin with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can forget, okay, this he is a shitty nigga. Like, I, I, don't know, I thought he used to think that, but, but after so much of, you know, he, he got the buzz and shit from our joint, I started to forget that. So it kind of reminded me again a little bit that, he, you know, Swamp is all right. Swamp all right. He got a lot of growth, to, um, and he got a high ceiling. You know, I don't know if he reached it yet, but he, he got a high ceiling. He, but he did his thing. Overall, what I'm trying to say is, bad news to me, lost, because he was just terrible. Not really. So when I say Swamp 3 old them. Why y'all doing news, bad news like, like that, say, man? Why y'all doing bad news no, like that? Instead of instead of saying Swamp Three old them, I would say Bad News O Three himself. Like he Bad News O Three Swamp instead of Swamp Three O and him because Swamp material like Swamp could have gotten smoke. Like especially going into the second, I was like, okay, it's this this still open because Bad News first was ass, Swamp first was fire. So Swamp took the first. He had good shit in his first. He built the house up real well and it pays off in the end. You know, I would like to see him do a little more aggressive punching as opposed to keep telling people how much he, you, this ain't a matchup. Like, you know, don't, I don't think he should keep taking, like, he is a lot of his shit, him saying things along the lines of, I don't even know why I'm taking this shit, you know, and shit like that. Like, it was a lot of that, like, a no, lot right, of, right, right, you right. know what's about to happen. You, you know what would happen if you match us up, but you never really showing us what's happening. Like, you're not, you know what I mean? You, you, you're not showing us why they shouldn't have. You're just saying, you just keep on reiterating how much niggas know what you would what I'm going to do to you. Your heart and, is but so then, the, the, but then the next bar, not what you're doing to him. It's just telling me what you, it's, it's hard to explain sometimes. No, it's hard to explain he did to his thing. My bad, go ahead, bro. No, I was out here, you go ahead, bro. You crazy, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it gutter, bro. Um, <laughs> motherfucker took, but he did do his thing, no doubt. Swamp went ham, and he cleaned him first round. So I was, but after Swamp second, Bad News went second. Yeah, Bad News went second. Swamp went first. If I'm not, if I can recall, yeah. Nah, it was the other way around. Yeah. Bad News went first. It was terrible. Swamp went cleaned him. The but second, the second was said, bad okay. too. You so saw the second was bad too, just like the first. Swamp. I mean, bad news rounds, like, I don't know who heard them or who, like, green-lighted them. Did anybody hear them? Like, 
them rounds just it just wasn't raps like it's like it's not rap i don't know what it is something about it i just really can't put my finger on it and and while he was up there you know what i really think and i don't reason i want the only reason i was trying to find another way to say it is because i don't want to be disrespectful to anybody on any platform anytime you know that's what you say for the house you know I, I really let loose on the way home talking to my girl about these niggas that's when i really let loose <laughs> but on any type of i don't want to publicly disrespect nobody what i'm about to say could sound like it so let me trade softly shots out the bad news 100 percent, no disrespect but to me personally i feel like he tries to be like sue surf i feel like he wants to be sue surf in his mannerisms his movements and it doesn't come out really raw and authentic up there and i think that's what he loses us at you know he has everything like we i was sitting there laughing with cuban and castro while he was rapping like bro got it all just not the right end like he just don't have the pen the pen part but he got everything else and that's because to me he got sous surf he literally copied and pasted a sous surf without the mind and the intricacies of a sous surf so it doesn't really go right and and, and rocking them was trying to help him of course but it just was bad for bro Shots niggas was fired. not loving that shit nobody was liking that shit and then Swamp came back with the same uh, similar style as, you know same similar shit which is good shit Clink the second, by the third, niggas ain't even like they was th- chilling, chanting three o, three o. Like ah, it was all they was chanting three o on them. Bad for Swamp. Wow. It was. I mean, some people got it started. See what that mean? People for that that battle. Unfortunately, stage two was just light in the building. It was maybe hundred fifty. It wasn't like like I, you know, when they know Sunday it was like three four or three fifty whatever. It was like, it was only if it felt kind of, you know, half of them was outside too. You know how that go, half of them outside and, you know what I'm saying? And even those bacon niggas, niggas gonna stay outside. It was 100 degrees, but they don't give a fuck. No, if I was gonna sit outside. So, that shit, he, yeah, it was bad. It was bad for Swamp and Bad News. It was bad for Bad News. Swamp did his thing. Damn. I, I, he definitely did his thing, but it was bad for Bad Dang. News. Was that the main event of the night? Like, was that one of the... Band battles, yep. Yeah. That was one of the band joints. Um, yeah, that was one of the band shows. What was it? Wasn't another band joint that day? Did you yeah, know? I swear I just cannot think of them shits. But it definitely was. It was more. Uh, I just can't think of them joints. So I know Swamp Band News. I remember that. And I can't recall. That's terrible. I really can't say it was a blood, bro, because I was so drunk. Sunday kind of was a blur. I knew I wasn't balanced, so it wasn't nothing stopping me from keep buying drinks. So I, I can't really, I don't even recall Saturday. I just remember swapping bad news. Damn. Mm-mm-mm. It come to your memory. It definitely might come to your memory. If it does, what about we going to jump right into your battle and then go backwards into Sunday. Oh, shit. We're going to jump right into your battle. First of all, I want to know, I got a couple of questions, then I'm going to let you just do your thing. But um, try to answer a couple of them all at once if you can. I want to know how you felt about Bill Collector. Like, was he better than what you thought? Is he, um, you know, like that type of thing? Like, how did you feel about his actual rounds? Then I want to know which round did you feel a certain type of way in? Right? Like, which round was the best for you from him? And then I want to know, like, yo, what you feel about your overall performance and, um. What rounds do you think that you had the best in? So, but you can just break I it down. I think Bill was Bill. I think Bill was Bill. Why did he close the door? Oh, I think Bill was Bill. My bad. I'm trying to get this dog. And yeah, shit. Yeah, good. I think Bill was Bill was Bill. It just was. He was a little unprepared. Bill. You know, a lot of freestyling in there. Oh, a really? lot of um, freestyling until he get to the shit. You know, it ain't hard to tell a nigga freestyling versus what he wrote. You know what I mean? The whole pattern just switch out of nowhere. It ain't hard to tell. So it was a lot of freestyling up until he can remember what he was left off, and then he'll start spitting some tight shit. So in between all that, you know, I, he did his thing. I think he was very entertaining, like he was. He was jumping around. He was doing a lot of, you know, Bill collected shit, but it was a little more. It was a little more amped up, but and that's because he had to make up for the fact that he really ain't had much for me, and I could tell. So as I minds go, I know my first phenomenal as usual. Second little drop off, I ended up choking on the second, but I, I mean it wasn't choke because I just said I'm on, I'm done. So it wasn't, you know what I mean. But the reason I did that is because it was I had a little hiccup there. The third was okay um, for me. 
to me, when I'm looking back in the building, it felt like it was all fire until I, excuse me, until I got the footage. You know, I got the footage. I keep a little, a little dyke hole or record some shit for me. I keep a little shorty in the cover. Once I got my footage, once I got my footage, I'm more disappointed. But at first, after immediately after, it felt so much better than with it. But of course, once then I, well, I said, oh, damn, bro, that was uh, uh. And then I see all the flaws. But overall, I don't think the fans gonna see none of this. The shit was fire. Very okay. beautiful battle. Okay, okay. What about the, the the stumble? What's up with the stumble? Um, like what happened? If I can ask you. I stumbled in the third because I had a part. I got a chance about a week and a half, two weeks ago. What's that? Okay, a couple weeks ago, I got into a situation and shit, and I almost. You know, I almost lost my life. I almost did. But the situation, you know, people would, if, if you were, if anybody else was in it, they would say, oh, that was a little situation with some shit. And, you know, I was kind of going through it after that. And it was over this hip hop and stardom shit, you know. Um, I didn't get too much into it. The team was a fame, but, you know, this is something. This, Damn. Um, to be honest. Oh yeah, I'm shining and shit. You know I'm flashy, shining. It was one of them. Let's get the rapper, nigga. That's all. That's all it was. It was one of them. You know, uh, kept the nigga just want them. Like you know, it's one of those. So that was little. That was a little bit of a real, a little scary for me in a way because you know I know the situ the areas in the, in the city that you know I'm, I have issues with and people that this that and the third. That's that's easy to tell. But if you talk about who just wanted to get the rapper you know how niggas do niggas just rap rapper so just wanna you know damn what's that all right my fault homie um could you go back a little bit you say you got in a situation i asked you about the stumble talk to us talk to us yeah i had a stumble in the third uh towards the end i had 20 bars that i had a, i would say a 16 to 20 more bars towards the end that i that i ended up cutting while i was up there and it was a response to the niggas who tried to do that to me a couple weeks ago, and I, and while I, and I was so that whole week after that shit happened, you know, a nigga was real live, like you know what I'm saying, like street shit happened, and, and and I don't know who listened and what was going on, but you know, it's different when the street shit happened because street shit happens when it comes to situations. You know, been in the club, fighting the club, some nick pussy niggas said some of this, that, and the third. But if you talk about real live talking on your head because of who you are that's a little more scarier you know what i'm saying like so and we see a lot of rappers get killed all the time and you know the hip-hop game is dangerous and it, that's where that's how it go so when it actually came my way over the fact that i'm on some real live good shit going on it was a little scary so that whole week i was writing shit you know, I knew I was going to talk to them niggas. I'm going to be in front of the camera. So mm. they going to see. They know who the fuck I was. If they tried to do that, they know me. So I'm let me go and respond. Let them know they can't ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm immortal. Nigga, fuck you. Like, I, was, I had a whole thing going at them. Mm. And while I was up there, once, once I started it, once I got up there and I started it, truth be told, bro, I'm, and, it's, and you know, I'm going to let you know and everybody listening, I almost cried. And you, you'll see it when the footage come out, you can see it. It wasn't clear. And fans even asked me after, damn, bro, you all right? And that third, like, you could see, I, I, you don't, no one, you know, I don't know if you'll tell, I almost cried, but when it was happening, I, I knew, I feel it's that first, what's that, you know, that first part of crying, it's like a first part, uh, of crying, what it's called, right, right. it's that first part, before, before the world of your eyes, it's right before that, I think it's a little feeling somewhere in your, I don't know where it's the feeling from, but I think it's your brain, yeah, you probably your, your forehead or something, it's the first little step to crying, I hit that step, and I, and I said, I'm not about to cry on this day, but it was about to be so, because there was so much pain, once I started it, yeah. it all brought me back to that situation, so because it's so fresh and so recent, mm. I haven't had a chance to really, uh, climb over that hump, a new man, I'm still kind of, it's still in that space, so, then I, I, I said, fuck it, I said, I, can't, I don't think I could do it, mm. they're not going to stay, did you have anyway. a chance, I mean, did, did, not did you have a chance to rehearse it, like, did you get a chance to kind of rehearse, rehearse it a lot, you got yeah, to, okay. I had it down pat, yeah, so I had it okay. down pat, so when I was writing it, I had it down pat, okay. but it ain't nothing like up there with the right. energy of right. performing it, you know, because right. I never, or I never rehearsed my material the way it's going to be when I get up there, I always just recite it, right. like I'm talking now, you know, I never get into 
start screaming and, and doing all the shit I'm doing. I don't never, because I, that's, you know, I can't make that up. That's just gonna come out the way it come out, depending on what happened, depending on who, you know what I mean? It's gonna come out the way it come out. Right. So, it, I, I definitely had it packed. It just, the minute I was like, it was uh, right after the, I told Bill, which didn't get no reaction, which I was a little frustrated from, but it's a lot of new fans and this shit, so I had a part at the end. Of course, I talked about show out and Hitman and shit. There was a couple of funny jokes about that, and then those was hitting. Then I got to a part where saying, this battle rap shit really does change a lot. Niggas be flipping shit and using a whole bunch of niggas' names a lot. All this gangster shit that they talking, like they got aiming glocks and get snuffed and get big ass knots, and no bangers pop. Now, I don't know if, that, if you know what that is, but... It was it, like, it was Rex versus O'Reilly. Rex said that same shit. He was talking about Bill. And I thought they would understand. So anyway, they didn't. So I ended up flipping it. Woo, woo, woo. Got a nice reaction for the flip. Okay, okay. And then the next part was, the next part was, I'm always be me. Don't like the name, your honor. Kill me. It was that part was next. And then at that part, once I said, kill me, I looked in the camera, pissed. And then I couldn't, that, like that's when it, kind of came back and I couldn't finish it without mm. feeling like I might cry up here and I ain't about to do that right, right, or right, not right. cry because now nah, they'll never cry but like it choked me up yeah, and it made me pissed Crazy. and then I stopped this shit and tried to just Dang, chill out before bro, I really, I really, really, I'm really really mad I like I, I hate that you had to go through something like that, bro. That's crazy over you just trying to get your life together and do something that you love. That I really hate hearing stuff like that. So I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that everything is good now. I'm glad everything. I just wanted to yeah, say I'm that. Good. I, and I'm happy now because now I got a chance to know, oh, I really am. Okay, now I got to move. You know what I'm saying? Now Same I got to know. Because right. you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how big of a star you are until shit like this happened. Then you like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I see okay, I am that nigga. They, cause if once the nigga start wanting you because you that nigga, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Remember the Migos went through it a few times and shit. Like, once you start, then you realize, so now I know how, okay, now I know how to move. So now I had a driver this time, this weekend. I had a driver. I wasn't driving. I had a driver this weekend. All small little steps, so it'd be like easy for me to, do what I need to do if the situation come about, you know what I'm saying? So right. I already done made the problem. I'm already starting to make the appropriate changes for my lifestyle because there's no way I can continue to just live like, you know, be I was living, being like this. So now that helped me, rem it, it helped to let me know, oh, nigga, it's time to make some changes because you can't, you can't do this because niggas going to definitely want, want harm to you because mm -hmm. of who you are. So mm -hmm. I had to drive a boo -boo -boo and so just a couple things I need to straighten up to, Make sure I'm still here, you feel me? Right, 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 right. It's good to hear, man. Just stay safe out there, man. That's what happened in the third. That's basically what happened in the third. Okay. And then I ended up cutting it short. So it may have seemed short, but it was 16 more bars than that shit, about 16 to 20 more of talking, telling that situation. And it was to them. So then another thing was on my mind while I was even doing it. Once I formatted my shit and had it all ready, I was like... No, I don't know if it's going to really hit because no one knows what happened. So it's like, it ain't like a battle rap story or something. It ain't like something people... So what am I... I'm literally just talking to those niggas if they see this. So then that that coupled with the fact that it kind of... I got emotional getting into it made me say, oh, there's no reason that I could cut it here. I did good enough. I could cut it here. I got my, other, my, my back in. They said good shit. He booked me for October 17th. I think that's the Survivor Series journey. All he said was October 17th. Get ready, be ready, stay ready. So I think that Survivor Series, because I heard the Survivor Series event was in October. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that's what it's going to be. So as long as the fans and the, and the, as the, the balls happy, I guess, basically, as long as the balls was happy with it and continue to book me, then I ain't got nothing to complain about. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. Is it safe to say that you thought your first was the best round? Or... It was, bro, and, I'm, and it's safe to say that I know my first gonna be the best round. I mean, gonna be my best round for the rest of my career. <laughs> it's safe to say that that's where all the fire at. That's where all the that's where all the freshness at. That's when I'm at my best. I'm not tired. You know, by the second and third, I'll be tired, be hot, be ready to sit down, be ready to mingle with my hoes. I'll be kind of, I'll be kind of, I'll be kind of over it by the by the second round. Anyway, I'll be so the first quarter be the best. That's gonna be my best energy. That's gonna be my best voice. 
that's gonna be some of the best material. That's gonna all, so it's gonna always be like that for real, for real. But I, I definitely took y'all advice last time, and I had a whole segment to talking personal about the show out shit and shit. Mm, that was easy I to was touch just on, about so. to get in there. You answered that question for me. I definitely was about to get in saying we talked to you last time. You said you don't like to go personal. You don't like to use name flips like that. And I said, um, try it. Like you got to do it once you step to that level. So I was gonna ask you, did you do that? And I think you answered that already. So you did it all through the battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah just... I had to. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, I, I made sure I kept it, I did make sure I keep it, kept it direct, though. Okay. Throughout the battle, I kept, you know, making sure I uh, addressed Bill directly with certain stuff and not just random gun shit. So even though it was technically random gun shit, all I had to do was tweak a few little things and it turns into a personal attack. So even though it still was a random gun bar when I wrote it, but after speaking with y'all now, I just, all I gotta say is, oh, Bill Collector, all I gotta <laughs> say is something about right. Bill, and now it's a personal gun bar, but truth be told, it's the same fucking universal <laughs> gun bar, but I did do, but a lot of them I did enough to tweak his shit, you know, instead of, like, it was a part, like, I can remember verbatim, when I was writing it, I, I remember saying, I knocked you out, nigga, you'll get knocked out, like, play with me or something, I said, it was all for a setup, and then, like, after, you know, speaking with y'all, I ended up saying, Nigga, you got knocked out. Like, sure, I knocked you out. Like, just that small mm -hmm. switch instead of me saying what I knocked you out, saying you did get knocked out. Now, everything after that is a little more direct, too. That's so, those small right. little changes definitely, I felt, That's made it right. more direct. And I want to thank y'all niggas for that, for real. You, the little other guy with the, act, with the accent, <laughs> um, and the and mail, and all that. Yeah, and the mail. And so, appreciate y'all brothers for that. Right, right. Salute the Red Rover. Salute the mail, love. Salute to them, man. Hey, um, so I wanted to ask you now, back to, so what's that, 2-1, 3-0? Oh? Hold up, hold up. All right, answer this real quick. I don't know if I got that clearly. So do you think Bill Collector came on his A game, or you say he was playing a little much, or he wasn't prepared? Like, why? Why was that? Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's difficult with Bill because, you know what I'm saying, his, his preparedness still look a little, it can look a little, like he, you know what I'm saying? It still look like playing around some because that's how he is. That's what he do. So I just, I knew he wasn't really all the way prepared, which he shouldn't be up then because he got Rex next week, shit like that. So, but one thing I will say is he did good for what he do, but I don't think it was enough for what I had. Being as though this was my shot and this was just him doing a favor, or whatever you may consider it. So just off that type of different level of hunger, right. mine, I feel, came out a little better. Not that he was whack, it's just he was he there for different reasons. I'm here to still prove something and get some, he there getting some paid, you know what I mean? Just, a, you know, vacation, free vacation, you know what I mean? So we got different thoughts on it. So I think that, that's a small part that edged it out. But he, he did, he did good. Taking nothing away. Bill did good, but he was really slow. He was really mild, and it wasn't really heavy. You know what I mean? It wasn't a, a good onslaught of consistent uh, hoorays from the crowd. Like, you know me, I get a, I get a good eight straight yays after every fucking line. You know, everybody needs that part uh, or that segment in battle rap where you just getting all praise after everything for like two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. then, then you can have a 30 second window of not getting too much hurrah. But you need that 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 stick, that gap. You need to go on that run in the basketball terms, that run, that eight street run to get back in the game or to take the lead or to finish a nigga. And I had those. He didn't never had that. It was big hooray, minute later, big hooray, chill for another minute. So it was a little spiky. Meanwhile, I'm having 20 second hoorays, five, 10 second build up dry period, then another 15 hoorays, then another, you know what I'm saying, soft spot. So he didn't really, he didn't just, he didn't have though, he didn't complete 15 <laughs> passes in a row. Like he wasn't completing five passes in a row. He was getting the first here and there. But you know what I mean? But other than that, he was just chilling. Like chilling. So with that being said, I have to think most people going to go with me. But it was, so that was unfortunate on his behalf that he didn't, because he should have, you know what I mean, it was Bill. But the fact that he didn't have all his material, and it wasn't hard to see that he didn't have all his material, when he did get to his material, that's when I started telling you, he a freestyle, then finally, as he freestyling, he'll figure out his material, 
And once he got to it, they, then it was fire. It was. But then here's another 30 seconds of freestyling while he try to think think of the new material. Mm-hmm. And then, so that's where those dry spots was all because, like I told you the first time, he didn't have it all down pat. And the freestyling didn't hit too well. But when he got to his material, and you know he did because he'd go from saying, Nick, you up here looking like you around something. And then a little hee hee ha ha, you know, nigga don't run nothing. And then he'll say, see, I used to be the same as I was on And then you be like, okay, clearly you wrote, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> that's the written part, because it was rhyming too well. Like, you clearly, okay, that's the written part. Double part was some bullshit. And they hard to see, because he started to speed it up, and then start to actually start rhyming multiple syllables and shit. So it ain't hard to tell when the niggas just, you know, so, uh, with that being said, that's what I think. Was was yeah? I think that's what fucked him up. Yeah. Right. I hope I asked your question. My what fault. was the bit? Be nah, nah, nah. You did, you did, you did. Around the fucking <laughs> <bases and shit. laughs> Now nah, you good, you good. The feeling of the building, like what was they telling you? Like, did you pay attention to what they were saying? Um, after y'all got off stage or or what? They won't scream in three o. Was What's it? Cool? The the people, the no, crowd. No, 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 fans. No, oh no, they didn't. No, they didn't do that. Okay. okay. No, the fans ain't do none of that. Okay. Okay. Nah, they was just, you know, telling me after good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay. You know what I mean? But nah, they ain't do none of that though, nah. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, okay, as long as it was a good bill collector, my whole thing, as long as he's good, then I can move you um, even, even farther up the rankings. You know, I got my little system I got going on. But um, then back to the other battles, man. If you got any other time, man, did you see the Mike P battle? What about the Sirius Jones battle? Did you see the Shotgun Shook battle? Uh, yeah. I saw a little bit of Mike P and Sirius Jones, and it sounded like Mike P was giving them the business the whole time. <laughs> Sirius don't, his delivery, man, he just gotta, you know, he say some, he come up with some fire shit. Like, the shit he come up with, if you give if you give it to me, it'll be so much better. Because he just, don't, <laughs> he just, he just talking, and he not, you know what I mean? We not gonna react on just words, no matter how fire the words were. Like, this ain't rap, this is battle rap, bro. I keep saying that. You can't just sit up there and rap good. You have to battle rap good. And part of battling is aggression and... Hey! This dog keep finding tissue and shit, man. Part of rapping is aggression and talking to and delivery and crowds and, you know... Alright. Yeah. What? Crowd control, performing. I'm not taking... He's not coming back in the room no more because he can't... Oh, so that's why I'm tied up. But you, you released them. You released them. <laughs> yeah. So you know, so he, serious, serious don't have that. Serious don't, serious just don't have that for real. Sometimes you know he don't have that. Back then, he, that's why he was one of the legends. Cause but do we want to see Serious really Jones? Bad. But do we want to see Serious Jones jumping around the stage and, and doing that type of stuff that y'all be doing? Because we see y'all doing no, it like no, it don't we look. We don't want to see him jumping across the stage, but right. we but there are elements in battle rap 2019 that you must have. It's not about jumping across the stage. He doesn't possess the elements in 2K19 that he must have. He possesses his <laughs> elements in his era. In his era, it was rapping. Niggas was rapping. It was all only, they only, they never even moved their feet. It was only hands. They just moved their hands a lot, rapping. You know what I mean? There was never, there wasn't really much head nod and much head movement and shoulder shrugging and flexing. It wasn't really much body in it. It was more words and hands. And that was what it was. He just, you can't, now you cannot stand there and just rap. Nigga, you gotta look this way, look that way, the crowd that way. Some parts you gotta tell them, then come back to him, then slide in his face, then slide away, then put your hands up. Like, hell, nigga, I ain't mean to shoot the nigga with a shrug or something, with the type of shrug emotion that shows it was an accident. It wasn't my fault, hands up, but I'm, I ain't do it. Some, some type of, you know, some type of. But ain't that a talent? Ain't that a talent? Ain't that a skill, bro? Like, can he even do that? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I mean, wait, yes. He, <laughs> he can do that. He can, he can, the things he was saying was fire. So the only thing he needs to do is put the action with the words. Nowadays, that's bad. He just needs the action to coincide with the words. If you shoot a nigga dead, they walk away like ain't nothing happened. We need to see you walk away on 
the stage like nothing happened. You can't just shoot the nigga, then walk away like nothing happened. No, you got to shoot the nigga, then I slide away like nothing happened. And you really got to slide and tip away. Yeah. It's just certain, to, to, to deliver stuff like that, that's a visual, that's a visual bar type of, type of thing. That's the battle in battle rap. You, that's the same battle in dance battling. Like, the word itself means you have to perform. And you can't just, so he had bars that I felt if he had just did a simple this motion or that motion, it would have conveyed it all to us. There has to be something, like, you can't, like, am I tripping? Like, like, like take for instance, no, 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 I was not. just what was I watching yesterday? I was watching Mike P and George yesterday. Random, just randomly watching that shit again because it was like good battle. And Jones was like, he had that, you know, that, that good bar he said, Is this thing on? Uh, and Mike like was twice or something. Is this thing on? And when he did it, he, you know, you gotta grab your shirt and beat your chest. Is this thing like you, you have to yeah, that's what made it super exemplify? Yeah. You, you have to exemplify the motion yeah. that the quote that you're taking usually get has. If you're so, if you're saying something that people usually say, like "Is this thing on?" or "Goes around," or any type of you know, nowadays that's what's really trending when you create the scene and then end it with what uh, what most people, you know, what I mean, most people do or something I'm like saying, that. Saying, nice so saying, right, 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 right. And when doing that, bro, you gotta do it the way people would do it. Hit it shot, checking my phone, checking my body, like I forgot something. You have to check your body. You, you can't stand, I wish you could see me right now standing still saying, <laughs> I got hit, checking my body, like I forgot something. You have to check, then check your body like you forgot something. You have to, and he doesn't seem to have that part of the battle down pat. That's a little unfortunate because his material fucking fire. Meanwhile, Mike P., one of the guys from the newer wave and newer ever understands that, and he was he was on one. My like, P was on one. He had a lot of a lot of big moments. Now, mind you, I was in the building, but after performing or just coming off, it's kind of hard to sit and watch a battle. So many niggas, you know what I mean? So much, so much. It's a whole other thirty minute of just conversing and interview. That fifteen minutes of fame, hip hop is real. K I K I B. The other little, some other little nigga with an iPhone. I don't even think he was in mm-hmm. interview. He just popped up with an iPhone and wanted to start up, start up. I think I was his first interview ever because he just mm-hmm. came out new with iPhones. They all get I bought you for a second, and I knew instantly, nigga, you ain't no damn man. You just that's what you know. I'm gonna do it. But that nigga just randomly got an iPhone and just shot this shit like you need to get a light. It's dark. I'm like, I don't even want that footage. That shit right ass. But anyway, the point is. That it's so much more, you know, extra conversation and conversion that goes along that I ain't gonna, you know, it's hard sometimes to sit and watch the battle. So, what about the Danny Myers? Did you see that battle? Oh, that was Saturday, right? That was Saturday. Danny and over there was Saturday. I thank you, I told you I forgot, but if you got him, like I remember, yeah, young, it got bad, bro. I got some (laughs) bad news, bro. It got bad, bro. I'm man, that one. And I'm and I need to apologize to the niggas who was in the Discord last time talking that Dave Myers, you know, ghost shit. I gotta apologize to them niggas for disagreeing with them niggas. Danny, (laughs) Danny is crazy. That nigga. Bruh, that nigga real life like left the URL and went to like space. That nigga left Earth, bruh. It was crazy. He's like, it's crazy because I'm sitting there like, I never liked it, this guy, but maybe I, I never seen him live. So that might, you know, all that shit changes things. Mm-hmm. Danny went nuts, bruh. He had the beautiful rebuttal O-Red. Oh, oh, okay, so O-Red's complete ass. I'm choking. First round, <laughs> second round, choking. Third round was choking, everything was choking, you know, the bitchy shit, he doing all the bitchy shit and the time and the, uh, uh, and the quiet down and no one was talking and you couldn't keep it down because one bitch said one thing way up in the back, so that fucked you up because, you know, I mean, just stupid shit and it was t- complete terrible, but Danny, oh, that nigga, bro, 
that nigga realized might be the bar god because he just got so much different shit. You know, I mean, he just has so many he different He punched in too. so many, I hate to cut you off, he punched in so many different ways. It's a thing that I told him. It's a segment that he did, I don't know how many years ago. I want to I wanna say four years, maybe five years ago. He went through every week giving us bars. Like every single week he had a little freestyle of bars. And I went through and I watched him the whole year of doing that. I'm like, yo, that's when I was convinced. I'm like, yo, this nigga might actually be the bar, like, cause he punched in every <laughs> single way possible. I'm like, yo, this dude crazy with it. Yeah, he definitely can punch in. Yeah, similes metaphor, but he can put the simile before or after. Right. He can do every yes. He got that variety of ways, and also he punches. He can t he can punch with topics that most people didn't even see punchable. Like he can like he can really think, like he, can, uh, he clearly is a smart person because he cover a lot of ground when it comes to the world. So like most people can't really punch out of Iraq or something or punch out of topics that deal with politics or something. You know what I mean? Stuff most people don't play in a lot of fields where they can punch in. He can punch about cheerleading or something. <laughs> Was it by default? Was it by default? Start on uh, Orea's round. Was he starting to choke because the fans won't feeling it, or was he starting to choke because I mean, because or the fans won't feeling it because no, he, he was starting to choke? No, he, he wasn't. No, he wasn't prepared. He wasn't prepared at all. Okay. He wasn't prepared, and, I, and he he dropped the uh, thing on 15 minutes of fame, and I appreciate him being a real nigga because I appreciate all my you know my favorite rappers that I looked up to coming up. You know, I love to see them be real about shit, and you know sometimes their interviews could throw you off and make you really not like him. You know, we like you as an artist, but as a person. So it was, anyway, the point is it was good to see on his 15 minutes of fame, he admitted, you know, he just wasn't prepared. He fucked up. He wasn't ready. He wasn't prepared. He, he, you know what I mean? He didn't craft his rounds and he wasn't, he didn't have his shit down pat. Salute to Danny up. Myers. That's a super plate for him. What about um Shotgun Shug and Jack Boy? You get to see that or not? Nah, that was that, uh, Sunday, and, and it was already 9.30, and then we, I left, we, I was hungry, okay. and the food in there was $10 for five wings, and I was uh, $10 for five wings, like, you tripping. I so, thought it was free. I, mean, the, I thought it was the, I mean, I'm from the block, like, 10, I could feed the whole block with $10, you talking about for five wings, shit, so I wasn't doing, no matter how much I got paid, I wasn't doing that, that's just ridiculous, so we was hungry, so we rolled through, and then we went to Jack Boy's crib, 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 we yeah. didn't go to, go to the burger spot up there. Everybody kept talking about the little burger shop joint in Richmond. It's, it was all right, you know, so. It's good? I didn't get to see right. that, though, but I heard it was a goodie. All right. What about JC and, um, who JC go again? Cortez. Cortez, you see that? They, they went Friday. I ain't okay, seen that. Okay, okay, that was Friday. They went Friday. I, 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 heard, I heard it was a goodie, though. Yeah, I heard that was a good one, too. I heard JC did his thing. Cortez <laughs> said that's the best JC he ever seen. Now, that's crazy. If he say well, that's half of it is the fact that the, 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 some of the real story when it comes to this bad shit in Richmond is that 
most of these people have never seen these people live. Most of the people that's there now never seen JT live because we, we me either. We never traveled to New York to, to catch a summer man or go to some, go to, you know what I mean? But once it's here and it's accessible, this is our first time seeing Ted, Sugar, or Red, Rock. You know what I mean? This is our first time seeing some of these guys, so you can only imagine that the reaction going to be a little more over than it had to be what it would have been in New York or somewhere where they already see these niggas, you know what I mean? So not taking nothing away from what, what they, none of them did. But come on now, they ain't been like that. And this, you know what I mean, they never was like this. So this that's because half these niggas never seen Danny before. So the, you, you, had that, you had that star power that helps with the excitement of Bob. I like guess really Danny, right? He can, Oh, and that's enough right there. Like instead of mm-hmm. watching it on YouTube or something like that. So you, you gotta, you got I mean, I'm not 100. percent That I'm not saying it's 100 percent back because I don't know where them niggas been. Everybody in there might have traveled to see these guys, but it ain't too far fetched to think. <laughs> I just said it's true. Right, right. It sound good. It sound real, real good. <laughs> yeah, hey. it's pretty logical. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Hey, okay, you already answered that one question I was going to ask you. Did the staff talk to you and you already said they did? And they tell you October the 17th, right? That's correct. All right, all right. I know um, you're not going to tell us this one live. <laughs> but we, you ain't got your opponent yet, but you do got your opponent? I'm sorry, bro. You breaking up. Say it again. Do you have your opponent yet or not? Nah? You ain't got to tell nah, me. No, nah, no, I don't call it yet. Okay, okay, okay. They're just telling you nah, to stay with me. just said get ready. All right, all right, all right. What about um, Ben Legacy, man? You see the moon in the um drug situation, man. Fights at the event, man. I wanted to hear what you got to say, man, and how you feel about handling your business at the event, one-on-ones, fair ones, um, fighting, battle rappers fighting. Talk to me, man. I want to know a better from a better rapper's perspective, an up and coming fight guy. I gotta hear your artist's perspective, man. Talk to me. Uh, I mean, bro. To be honest, I fucking love it, bro. <laughs> I fucking love it, bro. Like, I don't like. I'm not. I, 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 who did I speak to about this shit? Was it? Was it KIP? I did an interview. We were just talking about that shit when he was talking about violence and things like that. He started going. You know, he started. I think he was doing battle rap. KIP. I think that's what it is. He started saying, talking about violence in D.C. and how it's the city and things like that. And I really was telling him, basically, I said the same thing. I said, bruh, violence will never cease, bruh. It's not going to stop. Like, gun violence is never going to stop. I believe in God. So if you don't believe in God, you can still agree with this. There's an appropriate amount of good in the world, and it has to be a counter of bad. It will always be there. That's the only thing that makes life worth living is the fact that you could die today. Other than if we knew we wasn't going to die, how many of us would really like go to work or really do some of the things we do if we knew we what and nothing was gonna happen? It would really, you know. So the, that 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 fear keeps you in line, just like a whooping, just like anything, it keeps that kid in line for the next six months uh, because he know this shit hurt or whatever. It, it, it's, it's 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 necessary. And as far as in battle rap goes, I enjoyed the way they took it. It looked like, but based on the footage that I saw. Look like it was in the street, away from the venue, away from the... I appreciate that aspect of not fucking up the business of what we doing here, and to, but to go handle this like men. It looked like a fair one, looked like they handled it like men. I, 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 I've got some um, information today on Facebook that says some shit about they was already beefing, they, ne- they never, it was already tension. So, that's great. Get that shit out. That, that's, 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 I, don't, I can't see it no other way. Then that's great, bro. But I don't. I'm not an advocate for stopping the violence or stopping the fighting because there's no solution. There's no solution for stopping violence, bro. You can give everybody a million dollars and somebody still gonna rob somebody for their million. If that's not. Well, there's no solution for this shit. So with that being said, you might as well embrace the reality of it. And I fully embrace for at a long, at a young boy, as a young boy, I, I embrace the fact that it's gonna be niggas out here who don't give a fuck about you. And your only job is to not give a fuck about them too, or you gonna die. So I'm but shit, I'm with it. I saw that shit, I was like, bad, that's what I'm talking about. I'm happy them niggas was really, you know, they wasn't no pussy shit, they was really throwing ass. Like it wasn't no <laughs> grabby bunch of suckers. They was scrapping for sure. Hands being thrown. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's gonna happen. Niggas get tired, they start to get a little but other than that, it looked like a, a nice, a nice 
nice throwdown. I'm, I'm all for it. Nice, solid throwdown. And I was mad. I left. I wish I was there for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, it was a, that's a nice showdown because I had the gloves. So, and I told 15 minutes of fame that too. I was like, man, I got the gloves today. So after the battle, I'm just going to, after it's all over, after we mingling outside, I'm just going to drop them bitches in the middle of the street like I did on Showtime Battle League. For those that have seen me and Vito, your honor and Vito put on the gloves. And we got, you know, we, we fought on Showtime Battle League, just like men. You know, instead of, you know, the gloves, it's a, good, it's a nice... So is you, nice you the one that's the innovator of this? Fight fair ones? Let me find out. The, 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 the innovator of what? Oh, fighting the fair ones after the event. Let me find out. Yeah, that's me. I always buy, I keep the gloves in my trunk, so I always, because I know how, you know, stupid shit go, and then, and instead of taking it there, let's just put up the gloves like, man, no nigga, I don't give a fuck who you is, no nigga will ever duck, or can say he gonna duck them gloves and prefer hands, and when everyone around... Right, right, say, right, right, gloves, <laughs> right. But there's no way he ain't, you know what I'm saying, there ain't no way he... Nah, he ain't that he mad at you. Confused. Yeah, you ain't that mad. Come yeah, on, man. <laughs> yeah, you ain't no fucking way you gonna duck the gloves and no real hands. You gonna, if anything, that you gonna feel more comfortable with gloves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If anything. So, and I had them, I and mean, that would have been a perfect time to pull them out. They get their issue, because you ain't, ain't like you stopping them from getting their issue. Nigga, if I punch you in the face, I don't give a fuck what's on my hand. I got my punch on your face. I feel better. Of so, course. It's not gonna stop nothing. It's not gonna stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's a perfect way. So, and I did a sad day at the Showtime event, you know, so much argue going on, man. Put them on. Me and Vito put them on, had a good time, dapped it up, good man. You know what I'm saying? Good man shit. Like, so I, I enjoy this shit, man. I, I don't understand why it's not no more, much more than that. I don't mm. see why after every event somebody not fighting. Hopefully. After every event somebody's arguing, and every event somebody's violating. So I don't, I don't <laughs> know where these niggas be from, bro, but that... Like, <laughs> just be, I be wondering what happened after you didn't just steal him. He called you a bitch, but that's the end of the story. Still is that. Like, that's what I'm thinking, but niggas don't. So I enjoy it, bro. Fuck right, that. Right, I enjoy right, it. Right, 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 right. I definitely don't. I'm not for the violence. I'm definitely not an advocate for violence, but instead of shooting, of course, throw gloves on and fight fair ones. Well, of course. I don't think nobody would be mad at that, especially if nobody got to die. So yeah, we have a solution. Man, just make sure we put the gl- man to anybody listening. Just bring, just get you a set of gloves so you can always have them out for you know what I'm saying. That for, not, not for you, it's for the p- niggas who are getting beef. And you could just yeah, I promise you, bro. No nigga, when you walk up and see them two niggas arguing like they want to fight, calling each other names. No nigga in this history of niggerdom is going <laughs> to those girls. Just like Ken Williams did the history of nigga, the no nigga is going to duck those gloves. So you battle rap, the league owners, keep the gloves. The, the, the battle gets scuff, scuffy, can your security break this up? All of y'all brief intermission. Here you go, here you go. Boom, let's get it done. And that's a great way to keep everybody safe because the gloves ain't going to do no real long external damage. And with the gloves mentally, it does, it stops the grabbing. When you got gloves on, it, 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 it subconsciously it stops the grabbing because you can't open your hands, so you're not really gonna grab. So it does that, so it keeps it fair. Man, whoever minute boxing is the greatest nigga because it, it just mm-hmm. all around keeps everything at a, at a standstill. But you can ask about me in the hood, you can ask about me on a you know, chop my bad in the streets, I'm chopped. You ask about me. They gonna tell you, chop bring out the gloves quicker than anybody. Mm-hmm. Chop could be upstairs sleep and hear hear some some of his young niggas arguing outside, and he'll walk out that bitch with flip flops, drawers on, cover his eyes, and just throw the gloves in the middle of the street and go back to sleep and mm-hmm. tell them leave him back. And they know to leave it on his doormat when they done. Like literally, bro. So that's that's and, and I had him. And I always got him, but I wasn't dead, bro. I would have definitely. Say, hold on, y'all, y'all gotta stop this. Hold on, I'm gonna go get the gloves. We're gonna do this right. They would have respected that. Nobody won't. I think right. people need to understand is nobody's gonna not respect that. Right. If he really don't respect that, then it's beef. That means you didn't shot at him, or that means he done already spit on you, or slapped you, or that there was already some type of physical something happened anyway. But if it's like their first encounter for real of problems, they gonna definitely be, you gonna be able to stop all the bullshit if you can throw them gloves on and handle it with the gloves. That's a fact. What? <laughs> Salute to them. That's some man stuff. I know I was talking, I'm gonna say at the end of the day, 
Hey, it look like a fair one. I'm like you. It look like a fair one to me. They want nobody, like, nobody back down. All right. Uh, hopefully, they can just leave it like that. I saw a little interview with, um, I saw drugs. I think it was on his IG. It seemed like he let it go. It seemed like everything is cool. I don't know how Moon feel about it, but he seemed like he a grown man about things. He probably got it off his chest. Did you get the, did you, did you get, did you get the story or anything about what, what was going on? I mean, I, um, yeah, for sure. He said it started with the, um, the, um, the battle with the drugs in New Jersey Twerk battle versus Bravo and um Moon. Moon. Yep. He said they already had t oh. tension a little bit, and um Moon said something about pitting penis in his daughter in the battle, and he called him a pedophile, and he think that's pedophile stuff, and he been calling him a pedophile, so Moon didn't like it, so he wanted to scrap that one. But they had a fair one, so hopefully, oh, okay. but he kind of still saying it. So I mean, hopefully, drugs will just let it go because it happened, <laughs> and it seems like he still kind of think the same way. So I hope it don't go no farther, because I don't know, don't no man want to be called dead. Of course, if you're not dead, of course you don't want to be accused of that. Even if you are dead, you don't want to be accused. So like, come on, man, you playing with a touchy subject, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah, but he can't say no shit about fucking his daughter, even. You know what I mean? Hey, I feel you. That's even more touchy, so. I feel you. Yeah, some consequences and ramifications for the shit that you stay and do, hey. so that's why you got to keep it in the battle rap, bro. Yeah. You'll never catch all the talk about a nigga family. I don't know this man or his family, bro. What's, what are we doing? It's battle rap. Like this I ain't said, disrespectful this time. This right. is battle rap, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not meant to be disrespectful. It's meant to be a craft. Oh. Yeah, Who, who's the and best? Feel, it's not meant right. to Huh? Now who's the most disrespectful? I'd have never looked at battle rap like that. I looked at who's the who's the most talented, who can punch different ways, who's the most witty. Not this was I never looked at the sport like that. So I don't know why. People and it's, do it's, that. it's unfortunate because you know how it happened. You know how it started is because a nigga wasn't getting good reactions for his regular shit. He wasn't. So you guarantee a positive reaction when you say you gonna make his mother suck your dick and then whatever you guarantee because that damn the niggas guaranteed to be like oh shit because this <laughs> wild this foul and shit so that's what happened niggas wasn't getting that regular shit wasn't good so they had to now you gotta press a nigga you know what I mean? you gotta do some extra shit to get a, get your point across but is that so, is that part of the it. battle in battle rap right? is that part of the battle in battle rap? Right? That part of but it. the disrespectful shit? Is it? it? You talking about the disrespectful shit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <coughs> anything. Listen, bro, I'm going to stay straight up. I mean, Arsenal anything and Geechee do it a lot. I know that much. <laughs> Arsenal and Geechee is very I'm disrespectful. I'm going to tell you this. What's acceptable in battle rap is what they allow in battle rap. These niggas allow these niggas to do these things. So now it's acceptable because they've allowed it. it, it if a nigga didn't allow it, it wouldn't be acceptable. Math didn't allow niggas to get in his face. So now it's not something you can do to him because he didn't allow that. Right. Because if you don't allow it, they won't. no one's going to do it. Nobody's going to do it and see what he's going to do. We think we know what he's going to do, so no one's did it since. Ain't nobody tried that nigga <laughs> And that's because he did not allow for that shit. He said, no, this is battle rap. And this ain't something you want to say. Who can, who can who punch hard or who can fight for this? And this. No, so he's not going, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's all. I see what you're saying. I think battle was allowed is what, what was allowed. And what they let, what they let me allow. All right, all right, all right. So safe to say, the event of what you did see, um, Saturday and Sunday, it was a nice event. <laughs> Overall, what, what you give it? Um, uh, from a six to ten, what you give the event? What you seen? I mean, you know, each day was different. Overall, probably about a seven. You know, it still was good, good battles. You know, and that's good, but. You know, I would say that the fans and and, and the atmosphere wasn't the same. You know, it, it was. I don't know if they rushed this one and shit like that, but you know, all of it was because it was a hundred degrees. But it just wasn't as packed as it usually. You know what I mean? It just wasn't packed out. It was. It was. You know, it was a little little light. You know what I mean? So, but it was still overall successful. I hope they made a profit and 
That's all. You know, I mean, you still success, still seem like a successful event, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I heard it's gonna be on the Smack app, so. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that battle drop. The Bill Collector and Your Honor, man. I heard it was a dope battle. A lot of the reviews that I was following definitely had Your Honor 2 1. I saw a whole lot of Your Honor 2 1s. I would love to get Bill Collector to see his side of the story before it dropped or after it dropped anytime. Salute to Your Honor once again. It's be, um, closing in on an hour, chopping it up with me as usual. Appreciate you. I definitely appreciate you, man. Um, you gonna get us out of here? Man, anytime, oh yeah, get us up out of here, man. Get us up out of here, man. Man, anytime, nigga, man. Anytime I'm here, let me know. I'm, I'll be, I'm always get up here, and speak my mind for the culture, man. Appreciate my battle rap rankings and the whole rap is life, battle rap is life. The whole everyone, shit, you know, they doing something real with this shit, man. I'm on the two or two, go check that shit out. Y'all on the two or two Instagram. Facebook, I don't be on, but I guess if you want, it's Keith Stone, and you can just go to YouTube, type in Yarn of Verses, and go watch some of the old shit that you don't know me for. I think that's when I was at my best, and that's where you can really get a good sense of who I am. You can see it now and not really know too much, but when you can see the early stages, then you see what a nigga stand for or things like that, and I wish I could say a lot of that shit again, so, you know, but just go watch that shit. Some of the old ones need to the same looks as these new ones, so let's get it popping, man. Bad rap is life, bad rap ranking, man. We out. All right, we out of here. I see everything. Y'all stay on your A game, man. A game. Holla at me. <laughs>